In this part of my review, I'm going to review the Impal uh, Pro 2 CD phone car mount. Uh, I'm also going to compare uh, this to the Sabrent uh, Universal CD phone uh, mount. Uh, as I ironically got these both mounts almost exactly the same time, which allows me to kind of do a comparison uh, between two similar products. Um, you know, what comes with the uh, Impal here is the instruction manual, some little silicone like skid mounts they call them, or basically little rubber pieces that you can apply onto the bottom of the device. And then, of course, the mount itself, which comes in two pieces you have to assemble. Uh, but assembles pretty easily, pretty easy with this. Um, whereas the Sabrent, which I'll show you later, uh, is, is, is one piece. You do not have to assemble that. Uh, both car mounts fit roughly the same size phone, and they can expand up to about three and a half inches in width. Uh, the difference here with this, uh, with this, uh, Impal is you could push it, it's got locking, you can lock it into various positions, but the one thing I like about this is it's got a button that you push that allows the wings to come out uh, to hold cradle the phone, and then you just adjust it to the position that you want. Uh, and I've got this upside down here, but in addition to that, they've got legs here on the bottom uh, that you can pop out to hold the phone in place uh, vertically. Uh, the one thing I like about the Impal over the Sabrent is the cushioning. They've got really good cushioning on the wings here and on the back of the phone mechanism and even on the legs there's cushioning. Really good cushioning for this particular uh, mount over the Sabrent. Uh, the Sabrent, and again I'll show you that later, uses a spring loading mechanism that you kind of pry apart uh, and then put the phone in and it snaps back into place automatically. Uh, to me uh, the Impal here does a better job uh, with not only the mechanism and the options to hold it vertically and horizontally in place, uh, but better with the cushioning. Uh, the fold-out legs are an advantage, and I think it holds better overall. Uh, the Impal has a greater range of motion with the rotating ball bearing that's in the back here. It has a little bit of a larger one, so it... It rotates in a little bit wider range of motion than the Sabrent does as well. Uh, so I would call, you know, round one even, but this round two with the mechanism, the cradle mechanism definitely goes to the Impal. Uh, build wise and quality of the, both frames uh, are, are fairly good. They're both sturdy, both durable. The Impal mount is a little thinner, especially in the back here with the CD part mechanism, uh, and a little less obtrusive than the Sabrent, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, I would call that almost a draw, though, because it's kind of a matter of more personal preference and how these look. Each brand uses a little bit different design uh, so in far as the locking mechanism. Sabrent here... Uh, uses, as you can see, this screw mechanism that you slide into place into the CD and then you screw it down and, and it pops this up and locks it in place. Uh, this, to me, allows for a little bit wider use uh, of different types of CD slots so it can, it, it can lock into a wider variety of slots versus the Sabrent, which uses a spring-like locking mechanism. Again, I'll show you that in a, in a different part of my review. Uh, to me, the Impal holds better, and I think uh, does a better job with that overall, and definitely wins this round. The big deal with the Impal with the Sabrent, though, is the Impal Cradle is $4 cheaper than Sabrent's mount, and I think definitely that brings it over the edge as far as the win in terms of which is the better mount and the better buy. Uh, the big issue with both mounts, though, is that neither will fit all CD slots, so it kind of depends... Uh, the type of CD slot you have in your car. If you have a recess slot, you may have some issues with getting these mounts to fit, uh, as I did uh, in one of my two cars that I tried this on. Overall, though, both mounts are good. This Impal is cheaper, has a better cradle, better cushioning, better locking mechanism, and a better range of motion than Sabrent. I give the Impal four and a half stars. 
The other part of my review, I will get into Sabrant. This is Sabrant's universal CD mount for smartphones. Uh, and I'm going to compare in this section of my review the, the differences between the Impal and the Sabrent version, which I got roughly the same time and allows me to, to provide a review uh, and a comparison of the two. Uh, but in here included with the Sabrent, they, of course, got the instruction manual, the mount itself, which is one piece, and then these rubberized uh, uh, skid, skid pads that you put on the, on the bottom here. Uh, I, you know, again, this is a rare moment for, for, with me that I can actually do an instantaneous review of two products that are, do the same thing and compare the two. Uh, the, the big difference between Sabrent and, you know, initially is with the cushioning and how the, how this mount holds. The Sabrent you see here goes for a minimal amount of cushioning. They only have a little bit on the sides and operates with a spring mechanism that pops out and then automatically goes into place. Uh, the Impal itself, you know, has a little bit nicer design with more cushioning on, on the cradle, has bottom legs to hold it in place, whereas the Sabrent doesn't, and has a nice button mechanism that brings the wings out nice and gently, and then you can lock it back in place very gently without having to snap it back into place like this spring mechanism does. Uh, the build quality for both though are, are they're both you know good quality built pieces. Uh, you know Sabrent is a one piece whereas the Impal version is two pieces and requires a little bit of assembly but that's not a huge deal. Both, uh, both car mounts uh, fit roughly the same size phone uh, as well. The, the swivel with this doesn't have as wide a range of motion as the Impel, the, the ball bearing here. It's a little smaller uh, for that. Uh, but again, both are sturdy, durable. Uh, this particular, and again, a matter of preference, this has a thicker base than the Impel, which is a thinner base. And, and both of them use a little bit different design than how they uh, you know, lock the CD part of it into place. This one uses a little button uh, that snaps into place and causes this mechanism to hold into place, whereas the Impal uses a screw design, which I find works uh, better better than this Sabrent and holds uh, has the ability to hold, uh, you know, in a wider variety of CD slots than this Sabrent does because it allows for adjustment. The big thing here is this Sabrent is $4 more expensive than the Impal. And I think the Impal overall has a lot more features and a little bit better uh, with, the, with the variety of things that it does better than the Sabrent. Uh, again, the big issue with these is neither one of these will fit all CD slots, especially if you have a recess slot like I did with one of my cars. Uh, so, you, you know, you, you'll, you may or may not get a good fit with these depending on the type of CD slot you have, so that, you know it doesn't work for all cars. Uh, to me, again, I think the Impal holds better in the CD slot because of the screw mechanism allows for better adjustment than the Sabrent. Uh, overall, though, I think they're both decent mounts, uh, but unfortunately for Sabrent here, the Impal is four dollars cheaper, has a better cradle holder, better cushioning, better locking mechanism, and a better range of motion than the Sabrent. I rate the Sabrent now three and a half stars.